With the way games are going these days, it looks like cheat codes have gone the way of the dodo. Game companies are trying to find ways to monetize everything with season passes and paywalls. But staying true to their trend, Rockstar is following the same system that made all versions of GTA immensely more enjoyable. We are, of course, talking about the cheats. Today, we'll be talking about all the cheats available so far and how to unlock them as well as input them. Before we talk about how to put cheats in, we need to mention that there are some prerequisites for running cheats. Fortunately, it's not a paywall. All you need to do is play the game. After a few missions, you start unlocking newspapers, which you can purchase. These newspapers have cheats written in them, even if you know the cheat. Unless you have the matching newspaper on which it's written, you won't be able to use it. There are some cheats, however, which you can use regardless of having the matching newspaper, but to unlock all of them, you need to invest in them. Next up, how do you enter the cheats? Depending on your console, you'll need to go into Settings and press Triangle if you're on PS4 or Y if you're on Xbox One to enter the cheats menu. You'll be prompted to enter a code. After you enter it, you'll get a confirmation message. Be sure to save your game afterwards so you won't have to input it again. Once unlocked, you can toggle them on or off in the cheats menu. Note that when you have your cheats on, you won't be able to save or earn achievements or trophies. Without any further ado, let's get to the codes. Abundance is the duelist desire. This code unlocks infinite ammo. You need the newspaper, New Hanover Gazette number 27, which you can purchase in Valentine during Chapter 1. Greed is the American Virtue. This code adds the Pump Action Shotgun, Bolt Action Rifle, Mauser Pistol, and Semi-Automatic Pistol Weapons to your inventory. You need the newspaper after completing Chapter 3 Mission, Advertising, the New American Art. You long for sight, but see nothing. This code makes the whole map visible by removing the Fog of War. You need to purchase the newspaper after completing Chapter 3 Mission, Blood Feuds, Ancient and Modern. I Shall Be Better. It allows you to set your level of Deadeye skill to rank 3. It doesn't need a newspaper. I Seek and I Find. It allows you to set your Deadeye level to level 5. Also, doesn't need a newspaper. You Flourish Before You Die. This one refills all bars for Health, Stamina, and Deadeye. Again, no newspaper needed. You seek more than the world offers. This one refills and fortifies all your bars. It needs a newspaper, but it's not clear as to which one yet. And that's our list for all the cheat codes that have been found out so far. The list will continue to grow as players explore more of the game. We're glad to see that cheats are still present in the newer Rockstar games, even if they aren't as crazy as the GTA ones used to be. Nevertheless, they are worthy inclusions that we appreciate the developers for. So, do you think Rockstar deliberately made cheat codes less powerful in Red Dead Redemption 2 than they were in GTA 5? Or do you think the more powerful cheats are in the game, and they just haven't been found out yet? Let us know in the comments down below. Well, that's just about it from me. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya later.